Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this square A, B, C, D as you can see in this figure such that we have got this line segment EF and that is perpendicular to two other line segments BF and ED and now we are going to calculate the side length of this square ABCD and once again our this line segment EF is 3 units line segment BF is 12 and DE is 9 so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's go ahead and do some construction and here this is what our very first step is let's go ahead and move this line segment EF somewhere here to this point DH such that this line segment EF is equal to this line segment DH and moreover these two line segments are parallel to each other and then we are going to connect these points F and H and here's our much nicer looking diagram and here's our next step and you can see that we got this rectangle E F H D and here's the definition of a rectangle it has four angles each measuring 90 degrees the opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel so therefore we can see that all these angles the interior angles are 90 degrees each and moreover in this rectangle E F H D this side E F and this side D H are equal in length if this is 3 this got to be 3 as well and moreover these line segment D E and F H are also equal in length if this is a 9 this F H is going to be a 9 as well so therefore this side length E F equals to D H in other words in our case dh is going to be 3 units and moreover de equals to hf so that means this uh, hf is going to be 9 units so thus we figured out our dh length is 3 and hf length is 9 and here's our next step let's go ahead and do some more observation we know that this b h equal to the sum of this uh, b f plus this f h so that means so b h is going to be 12 plus this 9 12 plus 9 is 21 so therefore we can write over here our this bh length is going to be simply bf is 12 plus fh is 9 so bh length turns out to be 21 so thus our length bh turns out to be 21 and now in this next step we are going to connect these vertices B and D let's go ahead and connect these vertices B and D and here's our much nicer looking diagram and as we can see that this line segment BD is the diagonal of this square ABCD and now in this next step let's focus on this right triangle BHD the one that I have just shaded and here I have copied down this right triangle BHD right up here and we can see that is side length BH is 21 and this side length DH is 3 and now we are going to find this length BD 
D and since this triangle BHD is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side bh as side a this uh, dh i am going to call this side b and this longest leg the hypotenuse i'm going to call this leg c and here's the Pythagorean formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case is 21 so I'm going to write down 21 square b in our case is 3 so this becomes 3 square equal to c square so 21 square is 441 plus 3 square is 9 equal to c square so c square turns out to be 450 and now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so i'm going to take square root on both sides the square and square root they are gone so c turns out to be square root of 450 and now let's focus on this square root of 450. I have just copied it down over here. And now we can see that this 450 could be broken down into these factors. 9 times 25 times 2. And then I just split them up. Square root of 9 times square root of 25 times square root of 2. We know that the square root of 9 is this 3. Square root of 25 is 5 so 3 times 5 is going to give us 15 and then times square root of 2 so therefore c could be written as 15 times square root of 2 all right and over here this c this bd turns out to be simply 15 times square root of 2 so thus the diagonal BD of this square ABCD turns out to be 15 times square root of 2. I can write down this BD length is 15 times square root of 2. And here's our simplified diagram with this our diagonal bd is 15 times square root of 2 and now we are going to calculate the side length of this square a b c d and now let's recall the definition of a square all sides have equal length in a square so that means these all sides are equal in length and moreover every interior angle is 90 degrees each so this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees 90 degrees and 90 degrees and moreover we know that this diagonal bd divides these angles into a half so since the whole angle is 90 degrees so half of that is going to be 45 degrees this angle and this is going to become 45 degrees as well and now let's focus on this right triangle BCD that I have just shaded so therefore we are going to use this 45 45 90 degree triangle theorem in a 45 45 90 degree triangle the length of the hypotenuse is the length of a leg times the square root of 2 so in other words if we have in this 45 45 90 degree triangle if these two side lengths are a that are equal then the hypotenuse is going to be a times square root of 2 so thus in our case this 15 is going to be the side length so thus all sides are going to be 15 units each so thus the side length of this square a b c d turns out to be 15 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye